big stinky right here, looking sharp. I got the dually with the new paint. Looking good, looking good. But there's something missing, you know, bumper and some other accessories we gotta we gotta tend to, so that's what we're gonna do for right now. What is up, Loud Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We have a few things we'd like to do today. So first thing is gonna be we have to remove the headlights and then we're gonna put new headlights in. I have projector style headlights with some little LED accents and some daytime running lights, stuff like that. You know, just, just some other cool stuff. Um, we're gonna get those mounted up, wired up, and all that stuff real fast. And we've got something else we're gonna be slapping on the truck today to try to, you know, complete it a little bit more and make it look a little bit better. At least better to me. All you guys that hate fourth gen bumpers, um, not going to be a good day for you guys. But they're just they're just clean. They're easy. They're a lot more available than second gen bumpers. In good shape. They mount up easily. Yeah, it's just there's not really much for me to complain about with them. So, and we got our fourth gen bumper brackets, second to fourth gen style bumper brackets. They're just loosely on here right now. Oops, got to make sure I don't get that washer down under the lopsided. I'll fix that in a second. Anyways. Um, just going to make sure that this is all loosely there so that um, uh, when we line up the bumper, you know, we can just move the brackets evenly to where we can center up the bumper perfectly before tightening those down. So anyways, that's what we're going to get to doing right now is headlights, wiring those up. And then once that's done, it'll be a lot easier with the bumper off. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to get to mounting up the bumper. Hopefully it goes smooth. Hopefully it goes smooth. We've also got a 42 inch curved light bar right there, but I don't know how much we're going to be able to get done today because these videos, I've been trying to just, I have to make them quick. So I have to like get out here, work, get some stuff done. Then I have to get right back in and make sure I can keep up with some other stuff I got to tend to um, with the giveaway going on. Which by the way, if you're stopping in for the first time, most of you guys have heard this by now, but if you're stopping in for the first time, we are doing a 12 valve giveaway. That silver truck right there that just got painted and the black 12 valve on the other side ends July 2nd. Every $20 you spend using the link in the description up at the top or team-lmp.myshopify.com every $20 you spend on some cool sick apparel and merchandise and stuff like that gets you another entry closer to winning this truck with a black one. Before you feel intimidated or shied away from wanting to consider even entering which you just have to understand is I can't give you a range of how many people are entering but all I can say is not anywhere close to my subscriber count or my daily views count or my followers on Instagram. Like the, the number of people that are entered is not it's not even close. Not even not even close at all. So if that's all I'm saying, can't really give you a range or anything like that, but I'm just saying it's not any close to those giant numbers that you guys are probably, a lot of people are probably thinking. Or don't let those shy you away from wanting to enter the giveaway because it's a lot bigger opportunity than you might think. And I do not want people to, you know, shy away from it thinking there's some crazy amount of people entered, you know, and then you know, then pass up an opportunity that might not come back around. So anyways, guys, link in the description if you guys want to enter, enter the giveaway that ends by this time next week, it'll be over. It'll already be over and gone. So um, yeah, it's been crazy, been really hectic, but anyways, we're gonna get to working on the dually right now. I'm so ready to see this truck with a bumper and some headlights in it. Well, everybody, we just finished the bumper and headlights installing the truck. Got a couple other small things I want to install really quick. Well, not really like install, but just kind of like add to the truck. Cummins emblem for the grill and the 4x4 four four badge for the rear and then the Cummins badges for the side of the truck. These are all kind of like a smoky slash blacked out theme. Get my hat straightened up here. Um, just because that's kind of the look we're going for on this truck. So I'm going to show you the truck really quick here first. And then we'll get to installing these items. Ready? And boom. There she is. In all of her glory. And we already have the sport grill put on, so it, it, it sways really low. There's just a small gap. Actually, the gap is like just, like when you pop the hood, it's just enough to get your hand there to unlatch it, you know. Which is pretty much the same as big stinkies, you know what I'm saying? Just a real small gap down, down the center. The gap around the 
fenders is even, nice and even around. It's fit pretty well, fit very well actually. I'm actually really satisfied with the way it turned out. So I know guys, they both have fourth jump bumpers and some people don't like that. It's just these bumpers are easier to find in good shape on you know eBay and stuff than it is to find you know an old second gen bumper that's in perfect shape and not bent up and crap like that with plastics that are all falling apart. So you know whatever. So anyways, we're gonna get to throwing on some emblems on the side. We're gonna be throwing the Cummins badges on. Big stinkies are mounted up on the fender. I just want to put them right here. It'll be much easier and much quicker to line up the um, the levelness of the emblem all we have to do is set it flat across right above that little line right there on the door and then that'll be all good to go so we're going to get to doing that all right now like mineral spots from the water that we use to wash. It's just, our water is really bad, but I try to dry it off the best I can right away. Yeah, so we got the badges on. I decided to go with the door placement versus the fender. It's already a totally different look from what it was just yesterday. Holy crow. The best part is, it could be your truck. Just think about that. How happy would you be if this was your truck next week? Like, next week, you get a phone call, and you're driving down to pick this thing up. But that could be happening, but only if you enter the giveaway while you can. Only like five or six days left in this, by the time you see this video. Not much time. Not much time at all, so you better enter while you can. You could have this truck, or if you like five speeds and dualies and you like to haul a lot, you could have this truck. We got 12 valves everywhere. 12 valve, 12 valve, 12 valve, 12 valve, 12 valve. Oh yeah, and I just put the 4x4 badge on the tailgate. Leveled that out and put that on real nice like. And the tape I have here um, is just to keep this um, what do you call this? Just this plastic piece on here real snug because the adhesive is still still kind of drying. So I just pulled it really tight and pulled it on um, so that it keeps it snug on the ends because it's only on the ends it was starting to peel just a little bit. So, but it looks like it's doing fine now. I did that hours ago now and it's, it seems to, seems to be not peeling away. Just look at this truck guys. I can't get over how it is just to have a clean truck clean truck, good looking truck, and I'm still not daily driving this even though I have it back. Last two days I still just been uh, just been driving the first gen of course because why not put the miles on a truck that you have no idea how many miles it has already anyways and you paid three grand for. You know what I'm saying? Even Big Stinky, I could be driving Big Stinky every day but I want to keep it clean and just keep the miles off it, you know. Not that it has excessive miles but when I got a cheaper daily driver why not, you know look at them it's hard to believe I own three trucks right now I own this truck this truck and that truck that truck is not too hard to believe it's three grand but two beautiful trucks I mean if I listed these for sale right now you, you guys do realize that these trucks would sell for probably with 205,000 miles and as clean as they are I would bet they, they would pull every bit of 15 grand to the right buyer every bit of 15 grand to the right buyer at least in our area, which is, you know, northern Indiana, these trucks sell for gold. You look at the local lots, if anybody has one of these, like a diesel lot, and they specialize in selling these. I mean, there's a lot local. They have a 24 valve, a, um, sorry, a uh, 5924 valve. It's an 01, 150,000 miles, and he's got it listed for 17.5. And he, believe it or not, the guy sells them high dollar like that left and right. They're just rust-free, but they're, they're, uh, they're just rust-free trucks. That's the only difference. I mean, these are, I mean, same rust-free as this. I bought this from him, too. But I got a pretty good deal on it because the paint was bad at the time. Not anymore. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The sun is blinding me right now. But keep in mind, this truck or this one 
could be yours. All you have to do, and the giveaway ends by this time next week, somebody will be driving over to pick up a truck. Okay, just about. Maybe not literally driving over exactly this time next week, but in a, in a day or two from now, this time next week, somebody's gonna be driving over to pick up one of these trucks, and that person could be you. It's not too late, you can still enter. Leave a website right here, team-lnp.myshopify.com. Every $20 you spend gets you one more entry closer to winning either this truck or this one. If you like automatics and you don't like dualies, there you go. If you like dualies, you like five speeds, you like haul and heavy, we got you there too. Beautiful, beautiful trucks. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to enter the giveaway link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. This view never gets old, does it? Thank <laughs> you.